friends, and welcome to this week's talking portion of uh, this week's episode of Cozy and Chaos. I will be memory keeping for the week that was uh, February 27th to March 5th. It was, uh, if you have seen the vlog portion from last week's episode, uh, it was uh, quite a chaotic week, to be honest. Um, a lot of it um, is mostly because of our, like, four, no, rather three days, um, it's almost like buffet hopping sort of situation, and it's almost uh, every um, hotel's breakfast choices, so we were like, eh, you could say that I got quite sick of it, actually. Um, but in any case, um, this week that I am doing the memory keeping of, um, there isn't much to talk about other than the um, food vlogging and such. Um, I just pulled out like zombie <laughs> um, screenshots here from the lantern right from this year because I don't have anything else to put in there. And I've also like collected stuff here as well uh, that I could pull out from. So anyway, um, last week Monday, um, I will talk about like the experience that I have using um, Dradual. So my brother's friend uh, in Vanguard actually is like participating in uh, national tournaments, TCG tournaments. So he uh, traded or borrowed uh, my Leonard deck. Um, it's like they have to use like all of the nations like types of decks, and so he used Leonard for this section of the. I don't know why I keep pulling up like almost wedding related stuff, um, but this is what it is here. So uh, in exchange for Leonard, he let us borrow his uh, Dradual deck, which is Michiru's deck from Cardfight Vanguard. And like, to me it was kind of difficult to use almost, but in a way also, I am glad that uh, he let us borrow that deck um, so that we could like learn how to counter it when it's our turn to be uh, fighting against Dredgewold. And uh, I could sort of understand how broken it is, um, as well as how like undefeated Michiru is in the enemy, so I guess that is um, props to <laughs> the deck being very difficult to counter. But anyway. And so that was what happened um, on Monday. Tuesday uh, began our um, my food vlogging situation. And then in the afternoon, uh, I did a packing video for the first time. Um, I packed, like, not my usual orders for books, but rather packing orders for my brother's um, TCG shop. Uh, link to it is down below if you're interested. Credit in Scarlet Laden. I always uh, mention the shop done. Uh, in the description, or rather, I put it down in the description. The link, if you're looking for like card sleeves and such, and it's not really um, uh, what do you call that exclusive to TCG. You can always use them for like um, K-pop photo cards and other photo cards that you may print out, even just your photos and polaroids and such. Uh, you can use it that way if you like. But anyway, uh, I did a whole packing video because I was packing three orders and got kind of carried away. But uh, last week we sold out. Um, all of our inner protector sleeves as well as some of the designs we have already sold out. Um, I think the only one left as of recording this uh, video is the Hololive one, the Suisse Hololive sleeves. Um, that is the last thing that is Hololive themed as well as one um, per design of our colorway of Daybreak sleeves. So yeah, uh, I really enjoyed uh, my packing um, duties this week because uh, one person actually ordered like the whole remaining stock so that was fun to uh, organize and pack for the customer and also one of my brother's uh, customers even uh, wanted like the thank you cards that I make uh, and mentioned that it was uh, actually cute and I was like, very happy to have uh, hear that sort of feedback from customers in any case what else happened? Um, oh yes, uh, second anniversary week of uh, this YouTube channel. Um, I have said it in that video and I will say it again. Thank you so much for all of you who has been in with me on this journey uh, for two years. If you're a recent uh, subscriber, hello and welcome. I thank you for uh, clicking on at least one of my videos and I hope you enjoy and hopefully um, we can have more fun and engagement uh, in the near future. And then, um, oh yes, uh, this is like the most, um, what do you call that, 
uh, update part of this um, vlog, the purpose of this vlog, is that I actually broke my nose pen last week. I bought a slim uh, notebook wherein I actively remember that I said that I shouldn't be buying any more notebooks until I finished um, my stash, which is like seven or eight uh, lined notebooks that I can be using as my journal. However, I have been in this kick of using like small pocket notebooks or like the slim, I don't know what size is that. It's like shorter than a traveler's notebook, but it's the same uh, slim uh, width. And I've been wanting to use those and like I've been watching a lot of videos relating to that size. So when I saw it like uh, being sold in a local stationery uh, area in our department store, I grabbed one and um, I will be using that next time after I finish with my um, pocket size notebook that I've been using my um, fountain pen inks on. So I'm kind of excited actually to be using that slim notebook. I got one in black and it's just a simple line notebook. And so that is the other like extra bit that happened last week. And also um, the week concluded with actually me pulling for Sino. Um, I was supposed to be saving up for Scaramouche C3 um, that is rumored actually to come out like in the next patch. But I uh, bit the bullet and actually pulled for Sino. I told myself if I lose 50-50, I will just um, save it for Scaramouche. And I ended up winning and now I don't have any more Primos. So we'll see how I could um, do about with my Scaramouche pull with like 800 Primos to my name. And that is about it for uh, the happenings that was last week. I don't know what else actually to talk about. And to be honest, it's kind of gloomy today and it does not help with me feeling sort of sick. Um, yesterday, um, I kind of regret not um, filming too much of the karaoke party that we had for my uncle, my uncle's birthday. And so, uh, I do have some footage, but not a whole lot. And granted, I did sort of like, uh, went so hungry because it was past our lunchtime when we started with the, when the meal was served. And so, uh, I didn't really film all that much and went straight to eating. <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, it was all good and fun. Uh, my cousin and I sang to Queen. We sang Bohemian Rhapsody, which is actually not that um, recommended when it's like karaoke, but it was fun because a lot of my grand aunts and grand uncles actually joined in on singing. I soloed um, Somebody to Love. And I'm like, um, have they discovered that I'm not actually a Queen fan? <laughs> and, it was fun. My grand aunt and grand uncle that visited from New York had uh, their fun singing and dancing. And it has been quite a while since um, that sort of environment happened uh, within the family, especially after the pandemic and such. But as a result, I'm actually not feeling well today after having like the fatigue of uh, entertaining old people. <laughs> and, um, and so uh, that I think is one of the things that hit me uh, after the whole um, pandemic happened because uh, I think that my stamina as well as my social, ener social energies um, dwindled down uh, so much that these past consecutive days of going out, I think I uh, absolutely um, knocked out and I just tried to force myself because they're going home actually like next week and next week is the last um, series of going out for us but then again I think that there will be some adulting stuff that's going to happen and especially in April I have so many things actually that I'm planning on April um, I'm saying this now however I do uh, know that my aunt from Canada this time is going to come home um, and visit us um, and I don't know how much traveling I will be doing so some of my videos I'm, I'm saying this in advance but some of my videos I think I will maybe um, upload late but I do have plans for exciting content that I hope you all look forward to. But in any case, um, I don't know what I'm doing here actually. Uh, I'm not sure if this uh, looks good or not, um, but at least I used this up. Um, that little bit of sticker sheet is going on my um, empties for the, week, uh, for the first quarter of the year rather. And then the people outside started doing construction, which is a very uh, timing. So I think, um, Oh, I was about to say, mm. So I'm going to just mute 
myself for now just until this noise um, dies down so I will be right back Is it weird that I'm using the back of this uh, Starbucks receipt that I hoarded from this is from my um, last coffee date with my friend that went to uh, Canada to study and it's like um, it, they use like recycled paper so there are like flecks of different colors in the receipt so it's like um, this looks actually kind of pretty so I'm using the back of the receipt for my journaling for this week uh, I will be using actually the Acrobol 300 that my mom uh, gifted to me a few years ago and instead of 0 0.5 I loaded this with a 0 0.7 tip inside so I will be writing my entry for now. And now the spread is done and of course I have forgotten my um, hole puncher again but anyway um, that is it for the segment of Cozy and Chaos talking portion uh, I'm sorry that it is kind of like all over the place as well as uh, sort of boring if you ask me but um, things are going to get livelier as the month and the year progresses because I have a lot of ideas that I hopefully will follow through um, there are so many things in the works and also it is like um, Wednesday today so there will hopefully still be um, more clips um, in the weekend especially like on Friday because we're going out again and also I might be able to like why did I plan on doing this um, oops um, there are still like uh, other clips possibly because we're going out again this um, Friday evening so hopefully I can be able to film more uh, because I think this vlog is getting quite short compared to uh, other weeks. So anyway, thank you for tuning in uh, this week and I'll leave you to the rest of the video. So until then guys! Hello! It's Thursday and I just finished making these uh, crochet dodoko uh, plushies. I'm actually giving these as a gift. Um, one is for my best friend from high school. Um, it's his birthday this coming Monday so I promise to make him one of these plushies and one is for my cousin I will be giving this to her maybe on Sunday if we see each other but uh, I just want to like document uh, making these or rather uh, talking about them because I have found this actually a genius hack off of Instagram reels um, that I have a hard time like creating like these um, on the top part where you uh, hang the ball chains on for uh, plushy keychains but I found that what she did was to fold a paper clip, a silver paper clip and just uh, push it through the magic circle in crochet like the first row of the uh, amigurumi plush and this is genius so I'm still thinking about it uh, if I will be adding these plushies um, to the shop maybe I'll like put in like one or two next week depending if I'm able to make any more of these but if you are interested um, you can always leave me down in the comment if you are and I will make more of these so that is my update for today Thank you.
Hello, so it is actually um, Saturday today, the 11th of March, and I was thinking about uh, doing this continuation to what I've done um, before the month of March started, which was uh, Cards Decide My To Watch List. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above in the iCards for you, but it is like one of those things that the uh, booktube community actually do with their to be read list so since I don't necessarily read I adopted this idea of taking a deck of cards and having um, each genre be each suit and each um, what do you call that number in the deck of cards be a title in uh, the anime that I am planning to watch and the things that you see highlighted here are already the ones that I have chosen or picked out from that video and as you can see here from my journal I have watched all of them except Suzume, which is a movie that is still coming out here in the Philippines. It's screening now. However, I don't have like I don't think I have the time to watch it um, while it is out in cinemas. So we'll see what happens there. And I don't think I am ready actually to watch Your Light in April. So since it is like the second week of March and there's still so many days left, uh, I even like watched the Kizuma no Katari series, the three movies today and I don't know what else to watch. So I went back, uh, decided to just add this to the vlog instead of like making it its own separate video. I decided to continue this deck of cards inside my watch list part two uh, with the vlogs. So I've taken out all of the cards that we have picked out um, here. It is already um, from my last video. And so here is the rest of the deck. And we shall pick out like maybe I'll say if, again, uh, there's a lot of movies and OVAs that I will be getting in this um, hand, I will pick out around 6 to 7 titles. Because some of these titles are fairly short, and to be honest, uh, I'm thinking of making this a review at the end of the month, but I've already found favorites from the set that I have chosen previously. Like, I will talk about it more at the end of the month. And so our first anime will be... Uh, I'll hard ride. I am using my Sign Me from MNG, um, very old, like dual tip brush pen. I'm trying to um, finish this out. That's the first one. The second one is King Requiem from the Darkness. I'm actually not familiar with this, so we'll see about that. Next, Milka. Another of the horror psychological. Four is Ghost Hunt. Now that I realize, seeing it in camera now, you can't actually see when I highlight anything. This is 10 Block Summoner. It only looks smudged rather than highlighted. We finally have a movie OVA. Another Pokemon one. I think, um, I think I'm able to like watch this today. We already have five, so two more. Sorry if it's like I have a shadow here because I'm behind or covering the light. Another one, which is five. It's Garden of Sinners. I also don't recall this title. One more. And if it's a movie, I'm going to pick some uh, another one rather. And it is the Tatami Galaxy. Actually, I actually wanted to watch the Tatami Galaxy um, today. I was scrolling through my mouth, uh, my anime list, and wanted to uh, see what that is about because it's like a psychological drama. And I said that I will stop at seven, but I think I'll do one more. Romance, or rather, it is a comedy, yeah, boy comedy, which is a recommendation from my friend. And so that is our to watch list for the second half of March. Let me just um, double highlight this. Yeah. And so that is for this part. Actually, um, wait, is it seven? Am I missing one? Oh, it's Ghost Hunt. Here it is. I was gonna say that there are two of each suit, but there's more in the psychological horror um, genre. And that is our hand. And that is it for this part of the video.